Hello researchers, how are you? I hope you are fine and doing well. In this video, I am going to demonstrate you how to deploy and install Ubuntu Mate for Raspberry Pi 2. Now as you can see on the screen, I have opened a website called ubuntu-mate.org slash raspberry pi. This is the official website to download and grab Ubuntu Mate for Raspberry Pi 2 and you can see that Ubuntu Mate 15.10 is the latest version. So in order to download, you have to click on this click link that is called download and now you can click on any of the link over here about 32-bit or 64-bit, whatever you need, you can download and you can install on Raspberry Pi. Now if we want to proceed with the installation, as you can see that I have already downloaded Ubuntu Mate this RAR file. If I right click on this and click on properties, it is about 958 MB. So if you double click on this RAR file, you can find this is the image and I have already extracted this image onto my this folder. If I click on this properties, you can find it is about 3.66 GB. So before we begin with the installation, let me first of all tell you that you require two softwares in order to install the Ubuntu Mate 15.10 on SD card. So the softwares are SD formatter and the second software is called Win32 Disk Manager. Why we require SD formatter in order to format the SD card and make it ready for Raspberry Pi for acceptance. And why we require Win32 Disk Manager in order to install the image of Ubuntu 15.10 Mate on SD card. So I'm having the SD card with me. So I have to just insert that SD card into my laptop Now you can see that it has already detected. So I just want to go to SD formatter and now I press yes. So now you can see that the drive I has been uh, detected and now click on this options and click on format size adjustment from off to on so that you can easily make the format size adjusted for the SD card and you can easily install Ubuntu Mate operating system. So click OK and click format. Click OK and again you will be asked for formatting so click OK. Now you can see that the memory card has been formatted. Now the next step is to use the Win Disk Manager and I click on exit. Now the next step is to use the Win32 Disk Manager and to install the Ubuntu Mate image file onto this I drive that is the memory card. So double click on this Win32 Disk Manager, click yes. Now click on this link and now browse for the Ubuntu Mate where you have stored. So in this my laptop, I have stored over here about Ubuntu Linux. So I click over here. So now click on this word called write. So click yes. And now it will take some time to install about you can say it will take around uh, seven to eight minutes to get it uh, installed. So till it get installs, we first of all pause the video and then we return and then we go with the live deployment of Ubuntu Mate on Raspberry Pi. So now you can see that we are almost on 96% for the installation of Ubuntu Mate ISO image on the SD card. And now we are ready to complete. So you can see that it has come the message that is called write successful. So click on OK. Now we have done the work 50% in which we have downloaded the image, we have extracted the image, we have formatted our SD card and we have installed the image on the SD card. So now let us go and take this memory card out from this computer and let us go to the Raspberry Pi. So click on over here and click over here and eject Pi boot. So now let us eject this and uh, now you can see that we have a Raspberry Pi and I have already connected my power cable, my HDMI cable and with this USB I have connected my keyboard and with this wireless I have connected my mouse. So this was the SD card reader and now I am having this SD card on which we have already installed using Win32 Disk Manager Ubuntu Mate 15.10.1 which is the latest version of Ubuntu. Now I am having this Samsung computer, uh, this uh, monitor screen in which we will be seeing the output. So let us first of all insert this SD card like this. So this stick means that the SD card has been has been deployed and now let me take the keyboard and mouse let us place over here. So let us on and see the display of Ubuntu Mate on this Samsung television. So now you can see 
that it has powered on and within a matter of few seconds we will be seeing the graphical interface of Ubuntu in this we will be just asked to install Ubuntu so now you can see that Ubuntu made and it is basically checking the file systems to progress so let me place this SD card over here I have got this mouse icon and now I can see the graphical interface of Ubuntu Mate. I recommend that to please use class 6 or either class 10 because now you can see that some you can see variations is there in the mouse because I am using class 6 I recommend to use class 10. So class 10 will be providing you somewhat good experience but not it will be the best experience because you know that Ubuntu is a very heavy operating system so you can say that you will find somewhat difference in your performance. So the sound has come and now it has just given you a live session and now it will be asking you some questions and after that it will be installing you want to own the SD card. So now you can see it has seen the welcome screen you can use that is the English so I click over here that is continue. So as you can see that it is taking some time so now you it is saying that where are you so I'm living in India so I just click over this part that is India and now you can see that the Kolkata has been in, uh, has been detected so I click continue so it will be asking you four questions so these four questions will lay the foundation for installing Ubuntu Mate 15.04 15.10 so now it is asking about the keyboard layout so I'm using this uh, US based keyboard so QHMPL it's a very good keyboard so click on continue so no need to make any change and the last but not the least it will be telling you to make some user so I will be telling you how to make a user so after that it will be installing the operating system so now you can see it has come with the name so I type in my name that is Anand Nayar and for the Username it has picked Anand and for the password I give itself my simple name as a password that is Anand. So now click on continue. And now you can see that it has started installing the system. So it will take about 5 minutes to install and uh, till it installs we just pause the video and we return when it comes with the final desktop user interface that uh, it has already detected the hardware and now in a matter of few seconds we will be greeted with the final UI and I will be providing the username and password to Ubuntu and then we will be logging into this operating system on Raspberry Pi so this is the Raspberry Pi you can see that it is already you uh, been using some memory and everything working very fine very accurately So what I recommend again that to use class 10 because class 6 uh, card can even slow up your uh, installation. So now it is uh, configuring the hardware and now it has already you can say completed the installation logos. So not much time now we require. Now you can see that it has installed the operating system. Now let's see what happens. So it's a very cool wallpaper. It's like a space wars, like a Star Wars like wallpaper over here. So we have to wait again.
so it is now applying the changes so again we pause the video because it will take some time to apply some changes now we can see that it is applying the changes as super user and if I click on this details you can find that everything has now been set now it is rebooting the Raspberry Pi and now we will be greeted with the interface of Ubuntu operating system 15.10.1 so now it is the interface and it has uh, given my username so as I know that we know the password also I have given the password my name that is Anand so I type in and I click log in so now you can see that it is an interface and uh, this is the same welcome screen which you have already seen when I have shown you the website of Ubuntu Mate so if I click on this applications you can find the same education uh, uh, games office even has been installed so uh, in this video we have demonstrated how to install Ubuntu Mate 15.10.1 in a simple and a very easy manner so do give it a shot I hope you like this video thank you so much